Hello everyone guys. Today we are going to learn how a simple action like delivering a product can automatically trigger another action like generating an invoice. Um, let me just tell you first. So first of all, we are using Odoo 16. As usual, as you can see, this is Odoo 16 and for our IDE, we will be using Visual Studio Code. And in Visual Studio Code, as you can see, um, I've got my custom add-on, which is customization, which normally we use for our um, tutorials. Okay, guys. So let me just uh, let me just tell you what we are doing. Uh, so basically, imagine you visit an online store, toy store, and decide to buy a toy robot. When you place the order, it's like creating a sale order. Uh, this just means you have just told the store, hey, I want that real robot. In the simple way, uh, we can just go in our Odoo, in our apps. And here we have just got sales already has been installed. And we can create a new sale order. And we say, this is the customer name. And our product is this. And quantity is three. And all together, it's 818 pounds. And we can confirm this order. So this is just like that, that imagine you visit an online store and you just order in, in this, uh, what I have just done it now. Now the store needs to pack that toy and send it to your way. This process is called a delivery order. So once we have created an order, it has created a delivery order. It's like the store's promise note that says, all right, we are sending the toy robot to you. Then we go in delivery order and we pack this order. So at this thing, it's not available. So what we can do in this case, uh, we can just go in this product. And uh, quantity on hand. So what we do, we just add some quantity. We say we have got 10. And we apply it. Okay, right. Now we could just go back and delivery order. At the, uh, now you can see it's available. So uh, once we just pack it, it's just ready. We then validate it. Uh, but just writing a promise note is not enough. The store needs to actually give that packed toy to the delivery person to bring it to your house. When the store does it, they validate the delivery order. So this is how we validate the order. Um, and then what we do, we then go back and we create an invoice. How we can do that? We can just go back. Let me just. So I click on invoicing. Or um, if I don't go in invoicing straight, we can just go, we, we can just go in sales and the same sale order. So here. I can click the invoice now and then from here, from this process, we I will just manually create the invoice. So what we are going to do today, uh, that once we validate this order, it will automatically create an invoice. This is the task. This is what we are going to do. So, so if we scroll our mouse here on validate button, so you can see there the method name is button validate and object is stock picking. So what I have done here, um, for that, we just need to go in Odoo add-ons and then we go in stock. The module name we need to search stock, which is this one. In stock, we can search here button validate. So once we do that, we say define. So this is the function basically, which is responsible um, once we click that validate button. So once, as you can see, when we run this, it will call action done so yes we are pressing a uh, button validate button but this is the main function which is actually responsible for that 
and if we search now define this method so this is the actual method so what it's doing it's basically uh, assigning the quant and this is the whole bunch of, of um, method which you can also have a go study for that so basically this is validating the delivery order so now what is our task today what we need to do we actually need to override this function so how we can do that so what we need to do We go in, in our custom module, or if you have not created your custom module, you can create one. And then in model, we have, we can create a new file, stock picking. And once we create this file, we also need to give reference in our init file. So we say from dot import stock picking the name of that file that's it so after that we just need to um, override that function in our stock picking model how we can do that um, let me just, just show you so first of all we can just copy this bit from here So from Odoo, we are importing uh, models, fields, API, okay? This is the name of our class, and we say stock picking, or any name you want to give, uh, models.model, yes. And here, we are inheriting stock.picking. Okay, the function we are inheriting is defined, is action done. And we just, we don't need variables here. And now we are going to super it. Um, I have already explained it, how to super um, already existed function. So it's very simple. So we say super and class name, which is stock picking self and then dot action done name of the function. and no variable here okay then we are just giving a loop for picking in cell and we just define a sale order here first so we say sale order uh, and we have got okay picking dot sale underscore id so this is the field in picking sale id so we can get our sale order like that and then after that if there is sale order now we are going to create invoices so we say invoices sale order simple just create invoice this is the name of the function which is responsible for creating invoice. You don't need to do anything. And after that, uh, we can also do this, that invoices dot action post, that we also post those invoices. It's so simple, that's it. Let me just break down. Uh, let me just break down this function. So here, uh, class stock picking models dot model. We are defining a new class named stock picking. Um, think of a class as a blueprint or a template. In this context, the class is about operations related to picking stock items for delivery. Uh, then inherit is equal to stock dot picking. Basically, here we are saying that we want to add or modify an existing class in the system name stock dot picking. Uh, then uh, define underscore action underscore done so basically this line introduces a function or method called underscore action underscore done uh, 
think of this as a specific task or operation that the stock picking class can perform. In this case, it's operation that gets triggered when a stock picking action is completed. Um, then res is equal to super stock picking um, self underscore action underscore done. So basically this line is a bit tricky. Uh, but it's essentially saying before we do our new modification, let's first do whatever was originally supposed to happen when the stock picking action was completed. So super is a way of calling a function from the original class that we are inheriting from. So before our added tweaks, we first complete the original task. So then for picking in self, for picking in self, so basically, uh, we are now going through each picking in our current list of pickings. Um, then sale order is equal to picking dot sale ID. For each package, we are checking if there is an associated sale order. Um, and after that, if sale order, so basically we are making sure that there really is a sale order associated with this package. Uh, and then if there is a sale order, we will create an invoice for it. The invoice is like the bill for the customer. And after creating the invoice, the line ensures in, in invoices to dot action underscore post. So basically that the invoice goes through its finalization process and is officially recorded or posted. So that's it, simple. So what we do, we just, uh, we already have added this in our init uh, file stock or picking and uh, if you also have not given in your depends uh, in depends you need to give this reference stock so if you have not please give it this reference in your manifest file and then just run it <clears throat> when you run it uh, you just need to go you just need to upgrade your uh, your module your custom module and in our case this is the one we upgrade i hope you like this modification but this is really really easy um tweak and it's doing a big task very big task and um, i believe this will definitely help you and it will, um, you will be able to do a lot more things uh, with this tweak, with this small tweak, and you can add more stuff as well. Sorry about this time. I don't know why it's taking a bit long. Okay, it has been upgraded now. Um, we go to, first of all, we go in sales, and then we go in invoices. In second tab, if you want. So and invoicing. So at the moment, if you can see one, two, three, four, at the moment we have got five invoices, right? Um, so we are just going to create a new sale order first. So this this is the name of the customer, and we adding any product, um, and just one quantity confirm. After confirmation of this order, now our delivery order has been created. We go and delivery order. Uh, and then at the moment it's not available sorry so we can just add some quantity to our product first uh, on hand the so new and we say we have got 15 more apply and go back to our delivery order so at the moment it's available so we validate it now so once we validate you cannot validate or transfer if no quantities are reserved so it's already reserved okay so what we say check availability it is reserved now and now we can validate so you have not recorded done oh. so apply okay what is the error create invoice let me just check this error uh, sorry guys, I think I've done some mistakes. So basically this function name is invoice sys. And also 
there is another thing as well um, okay let's just run it yeah so create invoices this is the name of the function which i did mistake sorry and we even don't need So now we are going to validate. There is nothing to invoice. Reason for this way could be you should deliver your products before invoicing them. You should modify. Okay. Let me see. Just restart it. We validate it. So basically, if you see the, there is nothing to do is reason for the behavior could be you should deliver your product before so basically this is just configuration issue so because this is i have not done con configuration in settings so that's why but otherwise if you see that uh, it is going already creating invoices so just because of that con configuration it's not showing but yeah um, it will create that invoice so that's it guys i hope you like this video uh, if you like it please share it uh, subscribe it share it with your friends so yeah, Dar, thanks, bye.